What? No way. He called that person out? No way. Hey guys, it's the Roblox Cook here, and today we'll be taking a look at five different times Kaneto Kitten called out someone. But before we get into today's video, I do want to let you know we're doing a shout out giveaway at the very end of this month. And if you want to be entered into shout out giveaway, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button, like button, and comment down below I subscribed. It's that easy, let's get right into the video. So if you don't know who Kaneto Kitten is, well he's a Roblox YouTuber with over just a million subscribers. Starting off in 2016, he mainly did videos on news or drama in the Roblox community, but he does occasionally make videos based on calling out people, so let's go ahead and take a look into those. Coming in number 1, we have Flamingo. On July 18th this year, Kaneto Kitten calls out Flamingo. He basically calls him out just to show how nice and genuine Flamingo really is. He goes over the facts of how he met Kaneto Kitten, and essentially there was a YouTuber Discord chat that Flamingo added him, added him personally on Discord, and they chatted about how Kaneto Kitten was thinking about quitting his job, and through the, all the stress involved there, he simply reassured him and it would be okay, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to take it, and if it doesn't work out he'd go back to a normal job, and go back to a normal life. It was such a wholesome video, and purely amazing, and I'd suggest watching it after this video. Coming in number 2, we have June Roots. June Roots was a Roblox YouTuber who posted a lot of animated Roblox shorts that have gained him a lot of popularity, gaining him a spot in the YouTube star program. But what's the reasoning of calling him out? Well, he has been using bots to boost his merch sales through the Roblox items. And when Kaneto Kitten went to, to see the stuff for himself, the next day, it was gone. Even the group where all the bots were, was completely gone and disappeared from the site. It's really strange and suspicious. Coming in number 3, we have the official fusion. Kaneto Kitten calls him out mainly due to all the drama that's been happening around him, and how he got kicked out of the star program. Now you may be asking, how did he get kicked out of the star program? Well, essentially he made a ton of tweets when he was younger that weren't so LGBTQ friendly, and Twitter mob mentality went after him and eventually got him kicked out of the star program. And now, Kaneta Kitten actually defends Fusion here because he talks to him directly, and the reason he actually said those tweets was because he was in a diehard Catholic family, and those beliefs are not so forgiving towards people in the LGBTQ community. But he has been learning and understanding and trying to get better. So all around, I would defend him too. I mean, like, it's understandable why Roblox had to kick him out of the star program because of this stuff, but it's understandable where he's coming from and the fact that he's trying to understand and learn is amazing it shows his personality that he wants to be better coming at number four we have lisa gaming now she is a bait channel she mainly uploads videos to get reactions and clickbait people with fake videos and such now Kaneto Kitten calls her out for the thing that she did which was, well she was, she went out to Bloxburg and tricked people into getting their building permissions and deleted their entire house and refused to give back the money. And now people in the game took pride in what they built and so for this to happen it infuriated so many people and pretty much the entire Bloxburg community were disliking the video. And she managed to do another one. And after that, I guess you can, can tell what happened. She, she got banned. It honestly was hilarious and honestly unfortunate. Coming in number five, we have Jeremy. Now, Jeremy was quite a new one, maybe roughly a few months ago. Kaneto Kitten posted a video calling out Jeremy for going way too far. To get you up on speed, Jeremy had been banned from Roblox Adopt Me, and essentially anytime people played, with him, they would get a seven day ban for helping him someone evade a permanent ban. So Jeremy pulled a card where I guess you could say against one of the developers about how they knew someone who closely passed a few years back. And honestly, this is truly unacceptable and you don't just go after somebody just to get your way. It's not right. If someone's passed, you don't go attack them for that. It's just not a nice thing to do. And those were the five times Kaneto Kitten called out someone. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Bye bye